Okay, so this painting is called Vision of Faust, and it's by the Spanish painter Luis Ricardo Falero. Falero was known for doing paintings like this one that were fantastical and often centered around nude women or mythic creatures. His works are often confused with one another since he didn't title most of them. This one is often mistaken for his other painting, Departure of the Witches, both of which prominently figure female nudes floating in space. Falero was born in 1851, but most of his works are dated in the late 1800s. This painting helped establish him seriously in the art world and was created in 1880. Even though Falero was a Spanish painter, many of his works, including this one, were made in France. This painting was displayed in the Paris Salon of 1880, one of the last ones before the entire event became private. Along with another painting of him, the of his, The Butterfly, this was considered one of his greatest masterpieces. It was so popular at the time that it was reproduced on postcards and prints. Though it was made in France, copies of it reached as far as Russia. So, the painting itself is 32 by 59 inches and is an oil painting. It actually depicts a scene from Christopher Marlowe's The Tragical Life and Death of Dr. Faustus. The play centers around a hubristic professor named Dr. Faustus, who makes a pact with the devil to have control, control over all the world's knowledge. Right, and we can see Faustus here on the right side of the painting, unconscious on a rock. To his left is the demon Mephistopheles, the creature he made the pact with. In this scene, Mephistopheles is giving him a vision of the beautiful things a pact with a devil can bring. The women on the left of the painting are a vision of witches that Mephistopheles is giving Faustus, though ultimately Mephistopheles and the devil fail to deliver on the beautiful promises they make. Falero's choice of play, Dr. Faustus, helps us understand what he hoped to convey with his painting. The play warns of what happens when you become too greedy and warped by temptation. In this painting, the witches do not look evil or haggardly like we imagine witches to look. They look soft and beautiful and desirable. But, as you move up the diagonal, the woman form, unsubstantial. Looking at the uppermost figures in the painting, we can see that the women dissipate into the misty clouds above almost like fairies. Falero's point seems to be that, though temptation may appear to offer worthwhile rewards, Ultimately, there is no worldly good that is worth your virtue. Falero's use of light colors here also helps to emphasize the air-light quality of the woman. Faustus and Mephistopheles sit on a pointed rock in the foreground, one that seems to loom out of the sky, cloud sky to the floating effect of the woman. In the furthest figures, the woman seemed to be almost a part of the clouds. Yes, what a beautiful painting. Yes, it is quite wonderful, and I'm so happy that we get to look at beautiful artwork like this on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah.